Hello everyone, and welcome back to Central Premier Training. Today we're going to talk about the deployment option on our left-hand navigation menu, which gives us the ability to deploy the LogMeIn host software to any computer we wish to add to our account. By using the deployment capability, we can easily set up reusable installation packages that automatically apply specific LogMeIn settings at the moment computers are added to our account. Additionally, deployment packages can be attached to domain controllers, such as Active Directory, in the form of group policy objects, enabling for mass and silent deployment across your entire enterprise. To get started, we're going to create our deployment package by navigating to Deployment in our navigation menu and selecting Add Installation Package at the top of the page. Immediately, we are directed to the first of two options pages where we can begin our customization. In general settings, we start by naming the package, which I recommend being as specific to this particular installation as possible. For example, if I was using this package to install LogMeIn on a group of virtual desktops in the IT Tech testbed, I would want to name the package accordingly, so I can return to use it should more machines of this type need to be added. Here, I will name my package VM install for tech testbed. I have the ability to permit or restrict installations based on count or date. Maybe I have a contract with a client that stipulates support for a certain number of machines and that contract will expire at the end of the year. Here I can specify the number of permitted installs as well as the date the package expires. In this example, I have limited the package to 50 installs ending on December 31st, 2018. Subscription plan shows who is notified if I run out of LogMeIn licenses during the deployment phase. Finally, configuration allows us to select from settings that can be pre-configured, such as computer group, alert package, and or host preference package. Please note that the configuration capability is only available when computer groups, alert packages, or host preference packages have been created. Please see respective videos for instructions on how to customize these packages. The Advanced Settings area enables us to specify if an end user can rename their computer during the installation process, or if we want to keep the computer from sleeping when on AC power. I highly recommend checking off this second option, as no remote connection will be available through LogMeIn if the computer is turned off, hibernating, or asleep. If necessary, we can enter any proxy server information at this point, if required to complete the install. Once we have all of our settings configured as we want them, we'll click Save Settings to progress to the next page. The second page of the package allows us to select our method of deployment based on the environment we're deploying to. Deployment methods range anywhere from a simple installation link that can be shared via email or messaging platform, all the way to a customizable batch file to be attached to a group policy object through Active Directory. At the top of the page, we see the settings we previously configured, including the name, number of installs, expiration date, and status of the package. We can return to the previous page here if these settings look incorrect. The deployment method dropdown offers us four different methods of deployment, starting with an installation link. The installation link can be copied below and pasted into any communication, or simply click on Send Email with Link to automatically open your default email client and pre-populate the link in the body. You also have the ability to test the software download by clicking on the Test Link button, respectively. The second deployment option is via an MSI installer file, which can stand alone or be attached to a group policy object for silent installation. This method includes a detailed description of what the deployer and deployee would see during this type of installation. Click on Download Installer File to receive a copy of this customized MSI. The third deployment option is via an installer executable file, which is similar to the MSI, but does not allow for group policy customization. 
While your deployment settings from the previous page will be applied, please note that the end user must have the ability to install software on their computer. Click on Download Installer Executable to receive a copy of this customized .exe file. Finally, the most advanced deployment option is via Command or Batch File, which offers the ability to add an advanced scripting to the deployment. When selected, the single line batch file is displayed on the screen with the option to make the installation silent. This simply adds the quiet parameter to the script, as well as a link to our generic MSI for setting a pathway. The commander batch file option allows for any additional parameters that can be applied to the MSI execute command, such as forward slash force restart or forward slash passive. Simply click on download as batch file to edit the script to your liking. The deployment section offers the ability to insert personal notes should you wish to provide details or instructions to others who will be deploying the software. And that's the entirety of the deployment section. Click on the deployment option in the left hand menu to modify, reuse, or track the progress of any deployment package you've created. For more information regarding deployment using Active Directory, or another domain controller, click on the link immediately following this video.